Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Cooney, President of the Metro South Chamber of Commerce. It's my pleasure to welcome you here to Stonehill College. Uh, we are delighted to uh, be here to celebrate our 26th annual legislative and candidates reception. For all of these 26 years, we have been visited by many leaders, legislators, and candidates for office. There's one gentleman who had joined us for most of all of those 26 years, and he's not with us this evening, and that's uh, Senator Kennedy. I would ask uh, for a moment of silence for Senator uh, Tom Kennedy and also the crew uh, of the cargo ship El Faro, which was lost today at sea. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, uh, all of you, for your attendance here this evening. It's a very important event. It's, it's an important dialogue that we're, uh, we're, we're part of. And uh, this annual event remains a constant in a changing world of candidates and also political issues. Tonight is a great, is a great opportunity to meet in this wonderful building uh, to casually discuss issues of mutual importance uh, while also meeting many of the candidates running for public office, uh, not only in Easton, but also the entire region. Tonight, when you look around the room, you'll see elected and selected officials from throughout the region. Uh, we hope that you'll take uh, a moment to talk with them, uh, expand your network, and strengthen our region all at the very same time. We also hope you will make a point to let them know your concerns as business people, uh, whether it's rising employment costs in the shape of uh, vacation time and other issues that, that people are asking the business community to take on, or increases in commercial tax rates. Uh, burdensome regulations uh, within industries or issues of regional importance like water and sewer and transportation. Uh, let them know how these issues impact uh, your employees, uh, your business, and your bottom line. I would now like to introduce uh, the chair of our chamber's board of directors. We're fortunate to have Sue Joss, the president of the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center, as our chair. Sue. Thanks, Chris, and it's great to be here and great to see such a crowd as usual. We always um, pack the room, and um, it's an especially important event coming right before an election because I hope all of you will take this opportunity to talk to the elected officials, the selected officials, and especially the candidates to let them know um, what your interests and priorities are as we move into the election season. The Chamber holds this event every year to foster the dialogue between um, the business people and the elected officials. So we're here to discuss issues of economic importance as well as the needs and, and your concerns in the business community. It's a great opportunity uh, for us all to network and, and interact tonight. Um, if you look around the room, you'll see elected officials from throughout, throughout the region who come here tonight to hear from you, their local business constituents. Um, and as Chris mentioned, please make a, a point to talk and network and let everybody know your concerns. At this point, I'd like to take the opportunity to recognize and thank the sponsors, Columbia Gas, Rich Morgan Photography, and Stonehill College. Thank you. I'd, not, I'd now like to invite our host this evening, Fran Dillon, Vice President of Advancement at Stonehill College, to come up and say a few words of welcome. Thank you, Sue. And I, I will be brief because we know the purpose of tonight is to be able to exchange ideas and to talk with public officials. You know, I think it's very appropriate that places like Stonehill and Bridgewater State and Massasoit host these kinds of events. You know, as far back as Plato and Aristotle and Socrates, uh, and even before that, education and public policy has been about discourse. And I think college campuses and other educational institutions are a great place to promote public discourse about the important issues of the day. So it is certainly my pleasure to be welcoming back for the 26th year the Metro South Chamber of Commerce and all who are gathered here tonight. Now one point of clarification. I didn't personally know either Socrates, Plato, <laughs> or Aristotle, but I hear it was all about discourse. But it's great to have you here, and I also want to say something to those of you who are currently public servants or who are looking to be elected as public servants. This is a tough time in our country to be a public servant. And for those of you who are willing to put yourself on the line every day with intense scrutiny to serve the interests of the citizenry, we all ought to thank you profusely, regardless of your political beliefs, whether you're Democrat or Republican, left or right, independent, what have you. You've, it takes courage today to step out and to be a public servant. So on behalf of all of us who are not, we thank you very much. 
And once again, thank you for being here and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks. Thank you, Fran, and thank you again to Stonehill for hosting the event. Um, and it's so true that um, you, you all have a tough job if you're um, an elected official these days. So thank you for all you do. So can I ask for another round of applause for Stonehill College for a great job hosting this? So it's now my pleasure to introduce Ray Ledoux. Uh, Ray is the administrator of the Brockton Area Transit and the chair of the Chamber's Government Affairs Committee. Um, and Ray, I noticed that you were going around the room checking spelling and pronunciation and <laughs> I have the pleasure of reading the name. So um, welcome and thank you for... Well, thank you again, everyone, for coming here this evening. And as Chris opened up with a, a brief moment of silence, uh, I think... Uh, Stonehill and Cardinal Spellman have done such a great uh, tribute to Senator Kennedy and I'm just going to keep him right up here at the podium this evening while I make some remarks and recognize all of the elected officials because uh, Senator Kennedy as we knew and loved him as Tom would be right there. Uh, he's been there for 26 years so I think uh, Tom is a family member, I mean <laughs> he <would have> Representative <laughs> Crees, <laughs> of course, so, but, but he, would have, he would have very long stories and we'd be here uh, late this evening. So again, thank you so much for being here, and I'd also like to uh, thank Father John Denning, who was here and who he reached out to many of you uh, this evening as our host, and uh, Fran does a great job every year, but Father John was here. Right now he's over at one of the other facilities here in Stonehill, uh, meeting and greeting donors and scholarship recipients, and I think that Stonehill has a great program through uh, folks like Father John and Fran and Doug Smith who are here with us this evening, so once again, thank you. Um, the legislature is in session presently this evening and legislators have confirmed to be here and some of them may join us uh, should they be let out but I would like to recognize them because they had confirmed to be here and year after year uh, many of these legislators are in fact here. So from the state senate we would have uh, Senator Brian Joyce, Senator John Keenan, Senator James, uh, James Timothy. We also have Mr. Uh, Anthony Morse representing uh, Congressman Bill Keating. And from our legislative delegation, we would have uh, normally uh, Representative Tom Coulter, uh, Representative Claire Cronin, Representative Angelo D'Amelia, Representative Michael Brady, Representative Jeff Deal, and Representative Shauna O'Connell. We have with us this evening uh, Mr. Dick Dalton, Regional Director of the Mass Office of uh, Business and Development from uh, Greater uh, Boston. If you're here, would you please just give a quick wave? Okay, and if we can hold right over here. Okay, and if we could just hold our applause to the end and then we'll give everybody a round of applause. Uh, John Buckley, our Plymouth County Register of Deeds. Uh, uh, DA, uh, Timothy Cruz, our Plymouth County District Attorney. Tim. Uh, representing uh, Mayor Bill Carpenter, who couldn't be here this evening, is, is very capable uh, Chief of Staff, uh, Bob Buckley. Buck. Uh, also representing uh, the City of Brockton, uh, City Council President, uh, Bob Sullivan. Bob. Saw you. Uh, <coughs> uh, candidate for counselor at large, Susan uh, Nicastro. Okay. Uh, candidate for counselor, Ward 6, Stephen Foote. I know we saw Steve. Uh, Timothy Cruz, city council, counselor from Ward 1, longtime city counselor. Nice to see you again, Tim. Uh, Robert Brady, Jr., selectman from the town of Avon. Judge Francis T. Crimmins, uh, the town administrator, town of Avon. Once a judge, we always have to call you judge. Where are you, judge? Okay. Out in the other room. Out in the other room. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Carol Nestler, selectman from the town of Easton. Frank Lynham from Whitman, town administrator. Dan Salvucci, selectman from the uh, town of Whitman. Carl Kowalski, chairman of the board of selectmen from the town of Whitman. Is anyone run in Whitman running the town tonight? <laughs> no? Okay. We have a capable staff. Okay. <laughs> Frank, Frank Hargerty, uh, Chairman from the Board of Selectmen, Town of Avon, and Director of Norfolk County. Frank? Okay. Uh, Alex uh, Bazanson, uh, Selectman from the Town of Abington. Uh, Mark Jamison, Chairman of the Board of Sewer Commissioners from the Town of Abington. Uh, Sue McWin, Town Accountant from Abington. Way back? Okay. Dory Jamison, assistant town manager from the town of Abington. I might also say the same thing about Abington as well. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Lamplow, associate town planner from Hanover. 
David Colton, Town Administrator from Easton, our host community here this evening. David. Uh, Dottie Fulginetti, Board of Selectmen from Easton. Mark Lindy, Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical Institute School Committee member. Mark. Great, Mark. Uh, we also have with us Ann Beauregard, candidate for Brockton City Council. Ann. Brett Gormley, candidate for Brockton School Committee. Gary Keith Sr., candidate for Brockton Councilor at Large. Craig Pina, candidate for Brockton Councilor at Large. There's no debate here for Brockton tonight, right? <laughs> okay. Dan Smith, selectman from the town of Easton. Dan? Seeing you, Dan. And Shana Barnes, uh, Brockton <coughs> City Councilor at Large and uh, aide to Congressman Stephen Lynch's office. Shana? Great, thank you. Uh, Kevin Feeney, clerk, uh, board of selectmen from the town of Canton. Kevin? Okay. I want to thank you all for being here. Let's have a round of applause for all of our elected officials. <laughs> Before I make a few uh, final comments, it will be very brief and release you to more social activity, I'd like to tell you a little bit that's happening with the Chamber coming up. We have a Good Morning Metro South uh, meeting on a uh, uh, breakfast meeting on uh, October 20th. We will have the Mayor of Brockton, Bill Carpenter, speaking and unveiling the Brockton 2025 plan, which is a comprehensive plan. We will have a briefing on Cuba, and I understand that the Chamber will be offering and helping sponsor a trip to Cuba sometime in the spring, so it will be very interesting to hear that. We also have the Secretary of Transportation, Stephanie Pollock, here on that day, which will be on that morning, and I'm sure that she'll be talking about the capital improvements that she sees for the state and the region. The next day, we will have an uh, a after business at Wood Palace Kitchen. And then on, uh, the day after that, on 10:22, we will have a ribbon cutting for a new business in Avon, Banner Environmental Engineering. So, and then one of the hallmarks of our annual uh, year, on November 18th, we will have Jan Sharkansky Spanger. And Sharkansky is a family member of the accounting firm here of Sharkansky. And she is the CEO of Spanx, a $1 billion company. Just recently, she was featured in the New York Times where her leading comment was when they asked her, where did you get your start? And she said, well, I grew up in Brockton. And I have to tell you, Chris, as a great ambassador of the chamber, walks around with that newspaper article. Uh, and so... <laughs> And at an officer's group meeting yesterday, we offered to laminate it for him because it's getting pretty threadbare. So this will be the 102nd meeting of the chamber, and we'll have a very, very packed uh, agenda. We normally get about, 100, about 450 to 500 people, and we'd hate to turn anyone away, so we encourage you to get your tickets early, get a table, partner with someone on a table, but oftentimes as it gets close to the end, we find that the chamber staff are scurrying, and some people, you hate to say, we just don't want to have anybody locked out. And finally, what I'd like to do is echo what Sue and Fran have commented on. Uh, as public officials and municipal officials, you're asked to do many, many tough things. And if you can think about the last time that someone came up to you as an elected official, what can I do for you? You're oftentimes asked by constituents, people with grievances, people who know how to run government in a better way. You get those suggestions all the time. But we ask that you reflect on one thing, the rewarding moments that you have every day when you go to do that job. If you're the DA prosecuting a tough crime and protecting the public. If you're a chairman of the Board of Selectmen taking that phone call for someone who is in need of some services, whether it be assistance with food or oil, or whether you're a city councilor and you have a tough job to do. Just reflect on those rewarding moments and hopefully um, we also will appreciate that as I know that the business community does. And we at the business community here and the Chamber of Commer Commerce really appreciate the times that you take our calls, take our positions and, take, and are thoughtful about them. And we can only applaud you for your efforts and be persistent on our behalf. So we would like to applaud you as the business community as well. So once again, thank you from the Metro South Chamber of Commerce, and please enjoy the social setting that's here. It's a beautiful setting. I wish we could be here every week, uh, but please enjoy the company and uh, talk to your legislative officials and uh, your legislators and thank them for what they do. Thank you.